Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. And today I'll be reading multi character existener by me. So let's get into it. Lenny. Lenny is not really used to you being angry at him, but he's had to deal with a lot of angry people. Not to mention, with him having two siblings, it meant that he was really well equipped to handle some outbursts. Being an older sibling teaches you a lot, apparently. And such things as this, it taught him how to be calm when someone else is having an outburst. He remembers the times when his sister would get angry at him. And then he would have to be calm in order for things not to just escalate. But he loved her nonetheless. What mattered most, though, was the fact that, Willie, you were quite different. Because you were not someone who was younger than him. You were not a sister, and most importantly, the team you were dating. So things just appeared to be more sensitive than they were. And when you got angry at him, it wasn't like you could excuse everything for you. You were responsible for your own actions. And that was something that he knew very well. And when you shouted at him one time, he was startled, backing away. Wyan, what's going on? You're not really acting like yourself here. Well, wait for me until I am. You yell at him, storming to your room. He loves you dearly, but he also knows not to go into someone's room when they're mad. So he waits it out and hopes that's the right method that he's taking. And a few hours later, he wanders into your room with a cup of hot chocolate and some cake. I brought you these. Now tell me, what's really making you mad, Wyan? I don't recall doing something that would upset you. You looked at him. And you looked very guilty. I'm really sorry, Lenny. I don't know what's wrong with me, or why you acted out like that. But I promise it was not your fault. I know. I mean... I could do no wrong in your eyes. He chuckles at that, and the irony of the situation, but he holds no ill feelings towards you, and he understands that sometimes people just can't control their emotions. Of course, it's something to still be worked on, but you can forgive it every now and then. And since this was your first offense, he was certainly going to be very merciful with you. Except, you know, Ion. You can make it up to me one way or another, but I would prefer it if you just give me a kiss. Uh, really? That easy, Lenny? I mean, we do that all the time. So what's one more? He said, and he laughed softly at that. He was quite correct, though. What's one more? She leaned in, pursing your lips to his own. And it was really a soft moment, considering what happened a couple hours earlier. And Lenny was quite glad that he tried this method with you. Sometimes when he knew nothing, the best he could do was just wait it out and hope nothing bad comes out of it. And when you calm down and cool down, he could talk to you and figure out what was wrong and what upset you in the first place. So... Shao was really weirded out how you were just so angry today. He had no idea what was causing that outburst, or how to prevent it or stop it. So he just stood there as you were angrily cooking. It was not the cooking, certainly. It was not like someone was forcing you to do it. Usually, you liked cooking, and it was something that made you very happy while you did it. But right now... You seem to be rather taking your anger out on it, which was not really the best sight in the world. It also made him worried about you, and what could have brought you to this state. So of course, being the worried boyfriend that he is, he heads over to you. Leon, my dear, please tell me why you're upset. It's none of your business, Shell. Get out of my way. Darling, you don't usually act like this. Of course I'm worried about you. Would you please tell me what's wrong? I said, 
Get out of my way. You yell at him. The child just sighs softly, letting you go about whatever you were doing, or deciding to do with the food that you were rather torturing at the moment. And he decided that maybe it will blow over soon. And an hour or two later, he checks up on you, and you seem a lot calmer. So he wraps his arms around you, gentle, yet slow in his movements if you need to push him away. Why, Anne? Did I overstep? No, darling. You didn't. I was feeling so mad because of a friend, and I took it out on you. I'm really sorry, Shao. It's all right. I've seen a lot worse, Wyan. That doesn't mean this was good. I shouldn't be lashing out at you. I know. But I know you will get better from this. You made a mistake. And now it's time that you learn. Okay. I'll do my best. You have a lot of trust in me, you know. I do. And of course that's our reason. I don't remember giving you a reason to be this sweet, child. You do. Every single day. He just doesn't know it yet. But you can talk to me if you're ever feeling angry. And get your anger out with me. Letting anger fester inside of you. That's not really good for you, Wan. So getting it out in a healthy way matters. And who taught you all of that? Well... I, it was Rex Lapis, but he tends to give advice a lot, even unsolicited ones. Oh, I know, but thank you. I think I need his advice sometimes. He's a nice person. I know. He's really nice to be with, and a great friend to have. I can tell. Well, thank him for me, but for now... I need to spoil you a little bit. What do you say about cuddling and maybe going out later? Or whatever order you would like. And whatever you need, really, shall. I want to make it up to you. Please. He smiled at that, kissing your cheek softly. You don't really have to do a lot for that, Ayan. I can be happy as long as you're happy. But sure. I'll accept it, just this time.